if your base pay cannot give you the life you sicken don't go and be doing the life you sicken you don't have it don't buy it kind of means you can't afford it repossessing your car on the street is kind of kind of dumb the end your louis vuitton bags they not gonna help you to be real i feel like i was talking to you you broke you broke and you broke because you're doing stupid stuff how you did run thing how you did walking anything you do people go still talk about it Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, it is your girl Isa too. I do nursing and travel vlogs over here. So today we're going to talk about why are nurses broke. I recently saw a video here on YouTube that basically talk about why are nurses broke. And this video came from a nurse YouTuber here. I guess her name is Tawanda. I'm going to literally put her on the screen here. But it was such an educated video. And I'm like, I've been a nurse for two years and I've kind of seen this plays out like in reality so i do have certain things that i have seen firsthand and see why nurses are broke today and i'm very passionate about this topic because one thing i've personally realized is that not only are nurses broke but i find that the correlation to nurses that are being broke is mostly like female nurses over male nurses and for being real the number one reason for this is because like expenses versus income plays a huge huge important role here and I feel like for the most part, female nurses are very are more broker than male nurses are due to how they want people to like the perception they want people to kind of see them. First thing, the problem about this is new nurses. When new nurses come into nursing, they feel like I'm a new nurse, I've arrived, I've seen on Instagram nurses live their best life, they be traveling, they be doing these, they be purchasing some Louis and Gucci and Chanel, and they feel like when they come they should do it and the thing about if you're a new nurse and you are coming you're studying up in the hospital they put you into a residency program and i've been part of a residency program so i kind of know what a residency program is you work your bare hours which is like if you're working 32 hours you work as a new nurse hours, you can can't um work over time you're still learning you're still in your residency program you're still getting educated you're working by your person so you don't have the liberty to work over time you don't have the liberty to do anything like a staff nurse could like kind of work over time or work somewhere else or do something else as a new nurse you can't necessarily do all that stuff new nurses when they come into nursing they feel like i've arrived this is my time to start making my purchases this is my time to start living my best life they'll start like getting like louis vuitton bag gucci shoes or some will start buying a new house a new home some will start getting like fancy car it becomes too much for the salary because you're making your bare minimum and to be frankly honest during your residency program they are evaluating you trying to see if you can even stay there new nurses as soon as they come in they basically just want to do too much too fast make huge purchases like it's a girl you are a new nurse in a residency program. You should only make purchases feeling like this is like what I really, really need versus this is what I really, really want. And the thing about new nurses is like I said, they start making, they start living their dreams. <laughs> they're, they're in the dream phase and they start purchasing like crazy and, and things don't make sense. I personally feel like when you're in your residency program, this is not the time you start to like go big or buy things or do something you got to be realistic. When it comes to now, nurses who are not like new nurses, they're staff nurses, their um, expenses is too big that they start to be like, I gotta pick up shift, I have to pick up shift. My thing is, if your um, expenses can match the money, your base pay, you have to do overtime. Overtime is not guaranteed. Like in the hospitals and stuff like that, you can absolutely make overtime. But trust me, once, it gets to that point where they don't need nurses they do kind of flex you once they have enough staff they start to like flex you basically like call you hey don't come in today um we're kind of full on nurses and they would flex you so if you have a pto it gets used to that so to me i basically say leave according to your earnings don't think of i have to do overtime to pay all my bills if your base pay cannot give you the life you sicken don't go and be doing the life you sicken you know overtime should be out of like okay if i work overtime this can go it shouldn't be like overtime if i don't do overtime they could kick me out of my house that's kind of crazy it means like girl you're not leaving according to your means a lot of the things about like experienced nurses is the fact that they still are like in competition with each other they purchase a lot of a, a lot of stuff like louis vuitton gucci and some even bring it to work which is crazy because it's like where are you taking it 
like why are you taking it to work for cdf and coffee like why are you taking it to work people want to buy designer stuff for some reason like people want to buy gucci louis Vuitton, chanel like all those brand names it must be seen on them it's a good thing absolutely to wear brand names and feel just uh you know elegant and stuff but if you don't have the place to go with your gucci and louis vuitton why are you getting gucci and louis vuitton i've been this one time we were doing a um we were doing a you know a competency um assessment and stuff and our educator was basically saying a lot of you come with like your gucci and your louis vuitton bags and when they get like coffee stains or something happened to it, you guys are mad. In the hospital, there are so many things that are happening that if you truly, truly, truly love the purchases you make, you're not supposed to be bringing that there. But it's basically you buy stuff and you don't have a place to go with. So you're stuck with like Gucci, Louis Vuitton and you're buying all this stuff and they're super expensive, but you're buying it for the perceptions of people. So that's some of the things people do. And to be honest, if you're earning if your your expenses becomes a lot and they're not about something that brings return to you it's quite crazy a lot of nurses start to purchase crazy items that they don't necessarily need and it gets insane and it's all about to please the outside to give people's perception that nurses make money a lot of nurses on the floor i've seen them trying to do like take out or just buy food once shit starts they're ordering food and everybody should be put in they come in the floor and they ask like oh do you want and sometimes it's like when i was a new nurse i'm not gonna lie when i was a new nurse when you would ask about this food purchasing thing like oh we want to order something here a couple of times i did give in i thought it was like a one thing and done with but i realized it's like a every single shift day thing and i was like baby i'm not i'm not doing that <laughs> i'm not doing that and sometimes i didn't even like it like I didn't even like the food, but I'm like, okay, because I don't want to be that nurse that they could be like, uh, you know, this petty talk on the side, like, she don't pay, or she don't do this, and I was like, but every day it was like, they would order food to start at work, they would order food mid-shift, they would order food after work, and I'm like, I, I don't necessarily want to leave, want to do my paycheck on food, because I kind of kind of cook at home <laughs> and i found that a bit crazy i'm like yo that means i'm about to spend all my paycheck on food it's a lot of like money spent on food and i used to be very realistic the thing about me the way i move it kind of give people the perception like this bitch is broke <laughs> it kind of feels like i'm a broke bitch because quickly i'm just like yo i'm out like i'm not i'm not paying for that or i'm like i'm i'm okay i mean i got food at home i'm not gonna be buying food like you have to be smart with your choices and stuff and i'm quick to like cut things up and be like no 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 no. i don't want to do this so that's a lot of thing that just drain your money and you know a lot of things comes up but that's a lot of thing that drain your money and i'm like girl i'm not i'm not i'm not putting my my, my, my money on this other things i see nurses do right from the jump is kind of get a new car it's like i gotta get a lexus i gotta get a bmw it's like a tesla you know you get your paycheck and you realize i'm spending like 800 plus dollars to pay for my car it's like does it really make sense i remember when i became a new nurse um this car i'm currently sitting at my mom got this for me it's a toyota chr that i've been dying to have i'm like i want a toyota chr because i'm a very simple girly <laughs> I like I want I want myself a Toyota CHR. That was my dream car. When my mom finally got me my Toyota CHR, it's a 2021. It's literally a brand new car. It came in like zero miles, and I literally had to wait for this to come in um, from China. I think it was China or Japan. I'm not too sure, but it, it got shipped here, and I was super excited. When I got my car, a lot of things people were saying to me was the fact that oh, oh my goodness, like. You could do a lot for your status. You're a nurse. You're supposed to be driving a BMW. I wish you remember one of my um, one of my friend, um, my male friend during the snow was helping me shovel my my um, the snow from our driveway, and he came up to me and he was like, "You could literally get yourself a BMW. You got yourself this." I got so many things about this. Like even my friends were like, "You could have gotten yourself a Lexus or this," and I'm like, "Girl." I love my Toyota, like it's my dream car. I think people just have this perception a nurse is supposed to be driving a Lexus or a Tesla, some crazy. And I'm like, nah, I'm driving what I absolutely love. I want a simple car. And you know, it's like, that's 
got so many reasons to people go and get yourself a Lexus, this brand name, for people's perception. And I'm like, I don't care. And sometimes, when you have all of this expenses that kind of don't make sense, um, you're stuck with, you can't really, and you kind of start, your hospital start hiring, and they kind of have enough people, and you're now getting flex, and over time, they're not really easy. You get the, when you see incentive over ship, um, you just know it's going to be a crazy ship. So, the thing is, you have to understand critical critical things are going to come up and your paycheck to paycheck you're not going to have money for that you're not going to have money and this is why sometimes you really see some nurses even are can't even take the liberty to go on vacation because if they don't work over time if they don't work the shift if they don't do this they can afford it and it's like why are you putting yourself through that just to show the world that you are a nurse and you can make it it kind of feel very senseless to be honest i personally the way i am I don't care i see a lot of nurses are like i'm doing okay you're doing a destination wedding i got no problems with that because that's your wedding now you doing uh, you're going for a destination wedding for your friend i remember this time i was working um i was working a ship and this nurse was like i'm going for a wedding a destination wedding for my friends in jamaica and i have to pay like a thousand dollars per night or something i don't know something like that she said i was like i was like i hope you mean jamaican dollars or something and it was crazy she was saying that and she was saying um they have to like you know they pay their own ticket they pay everything for the destination wedding and when they get there they kind of have to pay some something for the gift and stuff like that like some something for the gift and stuff like that i was like girl i am not i i wouldn't if that was me i would not um i would not do that and the thing about nurses is like a lot of people are doing like destination weddings or their friends are doing destination weddings or their friends are not even no nurses but their friends are doing weddings and they kind of feel like because i'm a nurse i'm supposed to go there and show big time <laughs> and i'm like girl if it's not my wedding you are not getting past hundred dollars for me that, that i can be very honest with you we some nurses love to do that like just to go to a place and be like i got to be here i got to stand like girl no you don't have to reality is you make money but especially if you're a staff nurse you make a decent amount of money compared to other people but it's not like you make that kind of money where you're supposed to be going to donate for a destination wedding i just feel like people are just not realistic with their budget and i'm like girl if that was me if i had that friend and you're telling me destination wedding to jamaica and you're finding the resource people were even telling her some of the nurses were even telling her like girl find another resort if i have to pay that amount for a resort and it ain't my wedding what the fuck? what do i look like to you to be doing the yeah, top of spending but yeah destination wedding is one of the other things i would definitely say competing amongst each other a lot of nurses kind of just like to show i'm making more money i can buy that chanel i can do that thing i can be here just kind of show off and that's not a very wise way to spend your money you are showing up dog <laughs> it's stupid because you're not getting anything in return so a lot of nurses spend a lot of time competing they have some things that nurses do which i find crazy but some of them when they got paid they would drive to a certain store and shop together just to kind of show like and when they're shopping together they just kind of have to show that well i got gucci i got this and i'm like that's kind of crazy like it's kind of crazy the competition in nursing and it's like you're, it's, it don't make no sense i would not participate in anything that does not give me return for my money it's stupid also the standard people just kind of like to leave to this saying the standard that nurses make my money and in realistically nurses don't make that crazy amount of money that they kind of show to the world like you see your nurse be like oh this is kind of like five thousand dollars and you're paying it on the spot like girl please stop please please stop blah, blah, blah. especially you know how much you make. like you know how much you you go through per shift to be throwing your money on craziness i just think it makes no sense to be honest most nurses most nurses do not have like a budget like okay put write down your cost in a book and see see how outrageous it is and cut it up because you have no budget it means you spend on the irrelevant stuff and when the actual stuff comes for you to pay you got no money for that most nurses have no investment um most nurses that kind of spend crazy like this they don't really have necessarily investment 
so when they get to that point where their expenses versus the income is not matching they can have a um they can have an overtime or do anything else you know some of them just are if they, they got good credit because most nurses don't even have good credit they start to lean on their credit cards and then they max out their credit card and then they get to bad credit and there's no investment in return because what you're putting your money into are not things that brings you investment brings you more earning in return so you're kind of screwed to be honest so that's kind of thing some nurses do and it's kind of crazy one thing i learned as a new nurse um one male travel nurse was telling me was that she was like i think after five years i'm done with this career nursing it's not really that career you want to keep doing for a long time especially like hands-on it does take a toll on your like musculoskeletal system and so many more things so it's nice to work and have a good investment have a good retirement and don't spend it on accessories just to please people or change people's perception that you make more money because it kind of gets crazy and you're left with like bankruptcy one thing i basically want all nurses to know is that you do have the power to stop going broke one thing you have to understand is want versus need when you do certain purchases do you really want it or do you need it you go for things you need you don't go for things you want or things that if i get it i'm gonna please the world or it's people's perception because maybe it's kind of your account and your investment and when you get old you kind of want to lean to your investment and your earnings that you've made so you've got to start making smart choices make a list make a budget and kind of see things that you want things things that are important to you one thing i started doing as a nurse because one thing i was personally guilty of was i'm talking all this blah 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 but one thing I was very guilty of was the fact that I used to shop online a lot. I used to be like, my mental health is so bougie. I used to buy things and to be very realistic, I'm on scrubs 24-7. And I'm like, what am I buying all the stuff? <laughs> I don't necessarily need them, but I will buy them. And they take a lot. They're little things, but they're not investment and you don't necessarily need them. So I started making lists per month of like my expenses and things I need to pay that are important to me and things that if it's not on the least miscellaneous thing that it doesn't matter if I get it or not. I'm like, I'm gonna focus first on the priorities and then I can get to the non-priority things. Other thing I definitely would say is leave below your means. Just cause you make 3,000 a week, I mean two weeks, doesn't mean you should fuck it all up. <laughs> you should blow it all up to the wind live below your means um to be honest for me i live with my parents so some of the things i do do is sometimes i spend sometimes a hundred dollar or two hundred dollars can take me a whole week because i don't as soon as i gas my car and probably get something from duncan i'm kind of good for the week like i don't necessarily need much i do understand my situation is absolutely different from other people that are personally watching this video but necessarily live below your means or worst case let your expenses let your income be able to afford your expenses don't let it be like your income is like two thousand dollars you know and your your expenses are like ten thousand dollars that is super crazy and sometimes even when you do over time and max out all your credit cards you still can afford it it kind of is just telling you you're not supposed to be living above your means so be realistic you're not pleasing anyone at the end of the day you have to you're gonna see your finance and be like, this shit I'm doing is fuck up. So don't be leaving according to people's perception of you. Afford versus afford is something I feel like people should learn. Do you, if you're going to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, let's just say a Chanel bag, yeah. Let's say a Chanel bag is like $4,000. Let's just say that's it. And you're like, I'm gonna buy a Chanel bag for $4,000. Okay, let's say you have the $4,000 to buy the Chanel bag. But as soon as you buy that Chanel bag for $4,000, do you have another $4,000 to put inside your Chanel bag? You don't have it, don't buy If you're going to buy a Chanel bag for $4,000, and then right after you buy your Chanel bag for $4,000, you still have another $4,000. You still have another $4,000. Like you can afford it two times or three times. I'm like, yeah, baby, let's go and buy that Chanel bag. But if you can afford it, but after you afford it, you go broke, it kind of means you can't afford it. <laughs> So that's one of the most, um, that's one of my mentality of four versus a four. Can you afford a four times two? If you can't afford times two, why are you buying it? It kind of is stupid. The last thing I do want to say is be content. 
I think all these issues as to why most nurses are broke is that they're not content. There are nurses that make so much money than I make. So much money than I make. But at the end of the day, it kind of feels like, oh my God, you make more. It kind of feels like, oh my God, you make more. But the reality is I don't make more than they do. It's just that I'm more content about my life and my time and my journey and my income. I don't go and make sporadic decisions because I want to please the world because that is absolutely crazy. So the thing is, I would say is always be content. A lot of the issues that's making people leave above their expenses is the fact that they're not super content with themselves and they feel like I have to please people or I am a nurse now and I gotta show people I've arrived. And it's like, arrive where? The bankruptcy? Be real and be honest and be content. Your time will come make purchases according to your needs you don't want to go get a house and they kick you out of it it's kind of was a dumb move for you you don't want to get yourself a lexus and in three months time they're repossessing your car on the street it's kind of kind of dumb like you don't want to do things just so you're pleasing the world be content and if you do live below your means and people are laughing at you that's absolutely fine girl because we go on vacation here <laughs> and we don't have to like you know scratch our heads or not go on vacation because we got bills to pay so be really content, be content, be content. And when you make your money, if you make your money, try to invest on things apart from like your 401k or 403b or 430b and all the other investment that your company has. Also try to make smart business decisions for yourself. They do kind of help you at the end. Your Louis Vuitton bags, they not gonna help you to be real. <laughs> so that's kind of the end of this video if you kind of love it give it a thumbs up if you kind of hate it i feel like i was talking to you you broke you broke and you broke because you're doing stupid stuff and if you just like the video or you hate the video i'll see you next time thank you for giving me a watch hour bye guys